Hey guys, I'm Lucky Move back here for another video. Guys, today we are doing our typical method for making coins, and that is, of course, gap packs. If you guys want to see me uh, do this more and more, tell me down below. I know the first time I did this video a couple days ago, you guys absolutely gave so much love and support. So many people said absolutely they love this method, love seeing me doing this. Obviously, while I'm doing this, go ahead and do it for yourself too. Let's go ahead and make some coins together, guys. I'm gonna try my best when I'm doing this method to go ahead and talk about some other topics. Uh, but I will want to go ahead and just clarify real fast because I got a uh, comment on my last video talking about so is the what what is this method and how does it work? Well, pretty much how this method works is plain and simple. You are going ahead and trading in all the low overall silvers to get either higher overall silvers or power up cards that you can sell. Um, everything else you sell golds you pull for these packs sell elites from these packs sell power up so higher raw silver sell 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 the whole concept of this method is pretty much plain and simple that you are spending 500 coins which all every single card you're going to pull out of this pack is going to sell for 500 coins at least you're going to make your coins back on every single card out of this pack so pretty much as long as you you know obviously take the time to sell the cards you're going to make profit and if you pull a good uh, power up or good silver or good gold card you can make triple quadruple if not even more of your coins back uh, just like this bam uh, Jeffrey Simon Simmons we'll, we'll see how much he actually goes for but the whole concept is what you want to do is open up 20 of these packs right just start off with 20 nothing too crazy spectacular and then as you go ahead and you know once you get through 20 you're gonna go ahead and sell all the cards you just pulled so starting off right away like we have this guy right here he's a thousand coins this is double my coinage back now after tax it's gonna be like i want to say like 1.57 whatever on uh, my coin is back is gonna be like 800 coins make around 350 profit not bad uh but you keep doing this over and over again and it just simply adds up it's just on repeat it does add up now for the low overall silvers like i said before i put them in the exchange set because a lot of these just don't simply sell but if you want to and you want to make the most coins possible and you're like hey i have the time uh maybe you play madden all day maybe you just you know have some extra time while you're doing homework or something you could sell each of these silvers a, a piece single a piece and make even more coinage now these cards right here go for 600 coins each so we're going to talk about them in a second uh this right here is 950 so we'll sell them so some of the higher raw silvers will go ahead and simply just uh you know either uh what's got itself for like 650 600 coins that means you can make your coins back which kind of does suck that some of these higher raw silvers are like that uh they could go up in value when the um team diamond sets does go ahead and release so you got to keep that in mind but at the same time these silvers even the higher raw silvers that go for that you will make your coins back if you sell them but if you don't want to sell them which you don't have to you can put them in exchange sets and also power them up to either low raw gold slash could possibly be a power up that could go for a decent amount of coins so is all what you want to do like i said this method is based on you as a player what do you want to do you know do you want to risk it for the biscuit here or do you want to go ahead and take the guaranteed now i will say about this method is that again like i said before that the whole point is when you open up these packs you want to flood your auction house so you want to go ahead and open up like i said 20 30 of these packs and just constantly be flooding your auction house left and right keeping posting more and more cards because you want to go ahead and just keep everything selling so for example if you did this let's say for an hour right and as you open these up you want all 20 of those cards that you just pulled to sell within that hour so you just want to constantly just do the same process over and over again uh the reason why i personally love this method like i've said many times is just it's so passive it's such a passive method it's such a easy method to do it doesn't take much time at all you're going to make your coins back so you're not really risking anything and the beneficiary is of course going ahead and you know just getting coins back nonetheless though guys what i want to talk about in this video as we're opening these up is going to be future promo in mutt 22 that i'm really honestly looking forward to so it looks like we're gonna get a multi-week promo of the superstar promo so obviously we got part one we got part two which is a week one week two um i'm not sure if we're gonna get this every single week or if it does go ahead and end with part two 
but I kind of feel like based on what it looks like so far, it might continue. And if that's the case, that should be interesting to see, you know, even more players that they add. I love the Superstar promo personally because, again, it does go ahead and give you uh, players with already having abilities, especially how training is right now, how expensive it is. It's around 50 coins per training. It is simply just way too expensive to go ahead and go out there and try to get training, you know, or what's oh, called to uh, buy training. So spending 500 training or a thousand 1500 on one player or one ability is a lot i mean you gotta think right now 1500 training is around 80,000 coins so you gotta think if you say you go ahead and put on you know on your quarterback right a lot of these overalls aren't even high enough to have too many great abilities but if you put a thousand you know let's say 80,000 coins on just your x factor abilities then it's 80,000 coins per other ability you add to your quarterback in a week if a week time two weeks time you change your quarterback that's right there you're wasting all that coinage and all that training so i've said many times that again you know this time right now is the best time to slowly start building your budget team don't build a god squad and i know a lot of people i see online they have this god squad and it's all great and always fun to play with until you realize in about a month's time that your god squad is worth half if not one fifth of the value that used to be and yeah you are absolutely getting destroyed right now when it comes to uh you know having any coins because you sell that you sell your team and then let's say for example and you're like oh, i want to upgrade to own build a better squad well, guess what? Your team is worth like one fifth it used to be. And that's one month's time. I said this and now just say it again. Mutt is like a new car. Once you buy a new car, the second you take that car off the lot, it instantly depreciates in value. It instantly goes straight down in value and you lose everything because of the fact that, you know, that price tag of that car, $70,000 once you start putting miles on it it's going to start going down that's how these mutt cards work you have a card let's say an 88 of all base elite 300 coins well the second another card comes out with, with a new promo superstar promo whatever promo comes out when when that comes out with a brand new card at that same overall same position well because of that new card coming out unless that new card is easier to get through the sets well that will go ahead and make that card even less amount of coins which will go ahead and bring down the value of your card too of your base elite too so it's something that just you know is the thing about mutt and you know it's a, a love hate relationship for a lot of people i feel like with mutt and why a lot of people kind of stay away from mutt is because of that but just how it works is that used car market sale that you know it's like a new car method you know where it just goes down depreciates in time so so i said right now you want to be just going ahead and building the best budget squad possible and with the new edition of the superstar promo there are some really really good budget cards um especially some of these 83 overalls and 80 overalls uh they're really really good budget and if you are trying to pick some of these up this is not going to break the bank and as long as you have a crap ton of coins stacked up when we do start getting real big promos like holiday promos uh with the halloween promo and so on and so on uh thanksgiving too christmas we're gonna see a lot of these cards be just absolutely a lot of these cards uh you know you can actually start building a team and having fun in mutt and i always kind of keep the mindset of this like this right is you gotta think of mutt as a long-term thing now if you're just getting into mutt and you're like i'm gonna play for a month and walk away then that probably is not your you know cup of tea but if you are gonna play for the football season right you want to go ahead and maximize as much as humanly possible you know actually having fun and being able to play for the whole season because yes you could go ahead and build a squad a god squad day one is absolutely insanity and you're just like oh i'm destroying everybody but if you want to play for the whole entire season and have fun for the whole entire season you want to go ahead and build a squad that's actually going to last your whole entire season and simply the only way you can do that is going to go ahead and be you through using a budget squad for the early parts of the season and then once cards start coming down in price and everything starts becoming better you literally just upgrading your budget squad throughout the se uh, whole entire season this is literally what mud is if you think about it in a nutshell you are starting off with a budget squad right that's really good decent budget type players and then as the season progresses cards get l a lower and lower in price with that new card mindset right and then you just upgrading to better 
budget cards that used to be really OP cards and now they are budget cards because of the fact that they have come down in value because again other cards come out so you know right now you might look at a uh, Khalil Mack 88 overall and say wow that card is way too expensive in two months time that card might be a budget card and you might be picking it up for your budget squad for that budget card so you're slowly progressing with the system as you are going ahead and picking up some more of these cards and a lot of these silvers are just simply not on the auction house uh which is really not surprising to be honest but definitely disappointing because i am recording this video at 4 28 in the morning i should kind of expect this but i want to go ahead and see you know actually sell some of these silvers and i will say if you're doing this method do this during the day around 2 3 4 p.m don't do this when i'm doing this uh you know you can if you want right you can if you want but you're probably going to go ahead and be in the you know doghouse when it comes to selling some of these cards uh nonetheless so let's go and see what we get out of these packs um trading up these silvers so again like i said you're looking for power-ups out of these silvers or you're looking at some theme team cards like for example the saints are a good theme team that's the theme team a lot of people might go ahead and do so these saints cards might be a little bit in value up there nonetheless though the power-ups are the really the key things the core rookies are really good though i will say uh some of the core rookies are actually in decent value when it comes to the price tag you're putting in keep in mind whenever you do those sets so whenever you do that set i just did it's a thousand coins pretty much i'm putting in to complete it so i'm gonna go ahead and try to sell the card for around 1200 coins when i go ahead and get it back that's like i said before it's it's kind of the thing where it's like you risk it for the biscuit right you go ahead and put these cards in you're risking it if you go ahead you could make back your coinage you could make back a lot of coins you pull a good power up or you could just break even in a way so it, it all depends on what you want to do with your coins how you want to go ahead and maximize them um nonetheless though let's see we got this one Ooh, pack luck has been not on my side as of late and that's not just like in general like it's literally i don't know why but my pack luck has been absolute garbage guys did not see my blindfold pack opening on my main channel go check it out because i absolutely got destroyed so right here we spent a thousand coins off this pack and we're all gonna go ahead and lose some coinage we're gonna lose about a hundred coins which does kind of suck like i said that's why if you know risk it for the biscuit or take guaranteed if you want to take guaranteed thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next one peace out